Dylan's actually one of the reasons why I dropped out also. This is one of the best decisions that I've ever made. The best decision I've made. Actually really changed my life. I can't tell you how much value I've gotten. Push you beyond your limits. Not only have I grown my business. Calls and leads uh, thanks to the outreach method. And has helped me scale my agency. It has been a game changer with my business. I wanted to escape. I was playing hockey, working a low-end job, and going to school at university. I spent every day amongst thousands of people, but felt alone. Until one day, my teacher asked 400 business students, who wants to be an entrepreneur one day? And as I raised my hand, I looked left and I looked right, only to realize that I was the only one with my hand up in the air. And slowly, I brought my hand back down and I sank back into my chair. What am I doing here? I thought to myself. I'll never be happy if I continue down this road. I wanted to escape. I wanted to have control over my life. I wanted to have my own business and selfishly, I wanted to make a lot of money. But I was in a good business school and my parents were happy and all I had to do was go through the motions and I would set myself up for a good, solid career. That's when I was faced with the decision of, do I stay in comfort and just deal with the unhappiness? Or do I seek discomfort for the potential chance of ultimate life fulfillment? But I've always been a risk taker. Yeah! <laughs> in the beginning, I tried everything to grow my agency and nothing worked. I spent tens of thousands of dollars on courses only to be left with unfulfilled promises. And to make matters worse, everyone thought that what I was doing was stupid. One of my mentors told me that I was throwing away my opportunities that I had worked for. And then one of my closest friends looked at me and sighed in disappointment and said, if you fail to plan, plan to fail. So I emailed every single business within a 25 mile radius of where I lived and asked if I could work for free. I scraped every single company name I could find and I sent them a fully customized email and I did this 100 times per day because the plan was simple. Hit them up, offer free work, over deliver all my service delivery and sign paid clients like clockwork. The only problem was that I didn't know how to do good work and most people I worked for politely declined. But I didn't stop because I couldn't stop. Eventually, I managed to secure a small video contract with a local med spa. As my business skills progressed, one client became two, became four, and somehow I managed to bring myself to a $50,000 a year run rate within six months of leaving school. I couldn't believe it. I was making $1,000 a week, and at the time, I felt rich because every person I talked to told me that this was going to be impossible without a fancy degree. And as you can guess, I didn't stop there. Because ever since that moment, I became obsessed with doing things that other people told me I couldn't do. 12 months later, my agency was serving over 150 clients and I had a team of 10 employees to help me run it. In addition to that, I was able to receive some awards and recognition for being one of the top entrepreneurs under 40 in my city at the age of 20 years old. And more importantly, I had complete control over my life, my decisions, how much money I made, and my business. And this obsession with doing things when others doubted me isn't just for business. I didn't believe that making big money online was possible for someone like me. That was until I heard Dylan in the room beside me talking about somebody my age making 30K a month. That flipped the switch in me and made me believe that this was actually possible. And not long after, I'm now doing 10K a month myself. I had no plan to make any fucking money. And then I seen people just like me making money. So I decided I'm gonna put my head down and work and boom. Just collected that 2.2K strike payment today. I found you guys and then there's like, holy fuck. You know, people that are like insanely successful that can provide so much value, you don't find that anywhere else. When I joined RSC, I was talking to my dad about it. He didn't believe in it as much as I did. Signing the first client yesterday just like proved him that it was possible. Hey, my name is Tony Lee. I joined around maybe two months ago. My agency went from like 2K a month and this month we just crossed 17K. I actually joined RSC not making any money. You know, I, I saw Tony and he was doing 20K. You know, he's just as like goofy and funny as like all of us. And like, that's when I noticed that like, this is possible, I just have to put in the work. After that month, I actually did eight and a half thousand dollars because I knew that it was possible. Well, RSC is the mean average of the, of the 100 people you should spend the most time with.
Honestly, when I started, I thought like I would be maxed out at $4,000 a month. I didn't really know that was possible in story. Until I started having those conversations, um, I was at like uh, like under $2,000, not even able to like live on my own. And now I'm like, this month I will be over 10K a month.